Welcome to the finale of Digital Devil Saga 2. Last time we defeated Meganada, our last obstacle before reaching the end of the sun. And now it's time to face off against the end of our journey across both stories. The real world and the virtual world. It all ends here. I'm just gonna go ahead and fully restore his MP. I don't know why his MP is down. So, let's go over my party. Seraph has Archidine with Fire Boost and Amp, Reincarnate and Mind Charge, Healing, also Ice Drain and Fire Drain, Cap Vitality and Magic, and the rest of their stats are alright with the Synchro Ring for the Charge and Debilitate combos. For this fight, you really want to have the Drain Shields of all five major elements, because that's what you're going to be dealing with here across successive phases. Gale, who will be in the advanced party, has the change ring for some turn economy. Zandine, Paraflageddon for damage, Force Drain, as well as some other skills to facilitate combos. Force Boost and Amp, and Elect Resist for his weakness. Argilla has the Amala ring, because I couldn't really find anything better, but I do want it to be in the final battle. Pterodine with Boost and Amp, I hate that I have nothing better than her for healing than Medea, but that's the truth. Earth Drain and Force Drain. She's the only one in my party who has Earth Drain, and for that reason, I'm going to need her for the third phase. He has the Dragon Ring to reduce damage from Almighty. We'll be dealing with quite a lot of Almighty, especially in the end, and I want Heat to be in the party for the finale. He won't be in there for the start, but I'll bring him in later. He has Skull Cleave and Power Charge for damage, Taunt to debuff defense potentially, as well as Ice Drain. And Zelo, I've just been liking the Trick Ring on him, and he has, I need to set, uh, Elect rather than Fire. Uh, he's got a buff and a debuff to facilitate combos, Elect Boost and Amp, Elect Drain and Fire Drain, because I happen to get him Fire Drain, and Null Ailment to cover his weakness, though ailments aren't a huge issue in this fight. Yeah, you take Zerodyne back. Actually, I'll be starting with Gale and Cielo because, you know, it's fitting. And that's pretty much all to go over, so let's make our final save for the main playthrough. And ascend to the point of no return. I just cannot stress how much I love this final dungeon, but just aesthetically, this is one of the best hallways to the final boss I've seen in any JRPG I've ever played. Just, okay, gotta get everything on the map explored. But yeah, just, just look at this. And hi there, Schrodinger. Until they realize it, their suffering will never end. The solar data will simply recycle them endlessly for all eternity. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, people have asked what happens to all of those bosses that we defeated in the sun, and this is, this is what, they just keep getting recycled. Does that make you sad, Seraph? There's nothing we can do. They must discover it for themselves. This is very interesting if you know about Hinduism. Now, I'll say there are probably people better qualified to speak on this topic, but in my religious studies in high school, I found something interesting because before I did these studies, I'd heard a lot of people, uh, mainly of other faiths, describing reincarnation from Hinduism and Buddhism as like a curse. Why would you want it to die and be reborn endlessly, trapped in this cycle? Well, it turns out, yeah, Hinduism and Buddhism think that too. That's the entire point of the religion. Reincarnation is a bad thing. If you've been reincarnated, it means that you did not achieve the ultimate answer to life in your previous lifetime and you've been sent back to learn more. The ultimate goal of both religions, though in very different ways, is to transcend the cycle and escape from the endless death and rebirth of reincarnation. And that's known as moksha, or enlightenment. And now, a great force lies somewhere in the solar data above. Trust your body to the solar data? Yeah, we have to give up our own body in order to proceed. We're ready. Let's go, Seraph, everyone.
Is this God? Responsibility. I know people make mistakes, and they probably always will, but they do their best. Please, you can't destroy humanity. Well, of course, it's a Shin Megami Tensei game, what do you expect? The song playing now is often called Divine Identity, but its official name is simply Brahman, the name of the boss that we're fighting. It is an absolutely incredible song. I'll talk about uh, more about what Brahman is later in the fight, because now let's discuss how this works in general. Firstly, your buffs will carry over to other phases, so it's important to get them set up. Brahman has five phases, and each one specializes in a different element. The first one is fire, and that's why I have, well, that and more reasons why I have Cielo in the initial party. Brahman has five press turns, but uh, you can easily get rid of those turns by using Drain Shields. Uh, I believe Brahman does have some fixed patterns to how it attacks, uh, but I'm not a speedrunner so I don't have all of them memorized. There's Trisagion. This is why you want Drain Shields, because they will get rid of all Brahman's turns. So now we're at full stacks of buffs. The other important thing to note about the Brahman fight is that unlike every other multi-phase boss, Brahman will not switch phases until, uh, okay, you know what, I guess, actually no, I'll, I'll, I'll mind charge. Brahman will not switch phases until all of your press turns are over. Even if you deplete a phase's HP, light is, uh, unavoidable and physical almighty, by the way. Even if you deplete all of a phase's HP, Brahman will not switch until your entire sequence of press turns is over, and this can be exploited by setting up another shield skill ahead of time. For example, if you know that Brahman's second phase is, uh, is force aligned, you can, well, yeah, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's go for a, you know what, let's try a reincarnate. Brahman does drain whatever elements that uh, it's using in each phase. So this first phase drains fire, so Arcanine would have been a bad idea. Each one has about 3,500 HP, I believe. So we're not quite in the next phase. But the idea is that whenever you see Brahman's health go red, that is your cue to... Okay, I haven't actually set up the fire drain this time. That could be kind of bad, but I guess I can try debilitating here. I don't think the debilitates carry over because every phase is considered a different uh, enemy. Yeah, there's no way that can miss and generate it and, and uh, ruin, his, uh, ruin its press turns. I don't personally like calling Brahman a key because Brahman in Hinduism is the metaphysical essence of reality itself. Rather than YHVH or a kind of personal god from, um, you know, broader Shin Megami Tensei, Brahman is more akin to the Axiom from the series. Brahman is everything, and everything is Brahman. Brahman is an ocean, and every living being and inanimate object, everything in the world is a drop in that ocean. Its essence exists in everything. 
Okay, so right now Brahman is down to red, and that means we might not be in the next phase yet. But we'll just, I'm just going to do this just in case. No, we're not actually in the next phase yet. But I probably will be pushing the phase in my next sequence of attacks. So I'll be setting up the force drain there. Yeah, so that can miss. A uh, light card. Brahman's demon, uh, uh, demon title in the Japanese version is not God, but Borten, which translates as Brahma, which is kind of uh, falsely equating it with the creator of the Hindu Trimurti, while Vishnu is the preserver and Shiva is the destroyer. Brahma's design does have some elements of the Hindu god Brahma, notably the five faces, as well as one of its moves in its final phase. I'm gonna go ahead and pass a Gale, and now I'm gonna set up the Force Drain. If I'm draining Force, I probably don't even need to heal, so I'm going for the Mind Shard. So, uh, its phase should be switching now, I think. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, it phase switches uh, after you've taken your turn, and then it immediately takes its turn but you still have all of your shields and buffs active. So hopefully, yep, Brahma uses that, and, and I get that drained. So the second Brahma phase focuses on four skills, which means that Seraph can actually afford to save some MP with Argidine here. Okay, yeah, that's quite a lot of damage. Not quite in red yet. Let's set up the force drain. I probably want to deploy in Argilla for the next phase, though. Because we are, uh, a, yeah, we are uh, closely approaching it, so... Right, okay, if I, if I Argydine you now, I don't know if I'm actually pushing your phase... Okay, that's pretty... That's pretty likely to be pushing your phase. I'm not good at counting to 3,500, but if I go deploy in Argilla over Gale here, and then use Earth Drain... I might have under... I might have, um... Miscalculated here? I miscalculated, oh well. This could be kind of bad since our Jill is weak to the current phase. Oh yeah, also Gate of Hell's a thing in this phase. Thank you for the miss there, Cielo, but you're attempting that petrify again. Please don't petrify anybody. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm almost certainly going to push the phase here, though. There we go. So, okay then, I guess you can pass your turn. You can set up the Earth Drain in preparation for phase three while Seraph will mind charge again. It's kind of cheating knowing what elements all the phases use, but once you know that, you can prepare for them ahead of time. I just wanted to show off that trick here. It's a trick that speedruns of this fight rely on. Also, Brahman's design is meant to stretch out into infinity. Yeah, Titanomachia, uh, the severe, or mega in this case, earth damaging skill, which in this game drops a bunch of meteors on people. Brahman 3. Okay, so at this point, I do probably still want Agila for that Earth Drain. Do I send in... We still have Elect, so Cielo should probably stay on the field. Okay, Brahman's already in red. I don't think I've pushed the phase yet, though. Should take one more good round of attacks. Wicked Curse, okay then. Yeah, Null Ailment is not going to prevent that on Cielo, because that's a death skill, not an ailment skill. Okay then, let's go for that on Brahman 3. In fact, uh, hmm, hmm, it's gonna be weird to stay first, but if I actually set up the Electrain now and pass with Argilla, I think Seraph should be able to finish off this phase and push me into the Elect phase. Yep, here we go, we're switching. We're moving on to the fourth phase. If I had a nickel for every, um, SMT spin-off final boss that was a bunch of different, uh, like, artificial-looking faces. I have two nickels, which isn't a, uh, a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. At least you get to see all the faces this time. In De Devil Survivor 1, different faces depend on what alignment route you're on. But anyway, this is the electric phase of Brahman. Now, uh, I... In fact, it might have even started with the previous, uh... Yeah, it's starting with Brahman Phase 3 that Brahman can use Eternal Zero. Now, the odds of that go down dramatically if... You know what, I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and use your turn to, uh... 
use a Disc Curse, just because I don't like the fact that Cielo's cursed right now. Also, Cielo can't really do any damage this phase, but he's going to be invaluable for the Electrains. I suppose Argilla didn't contribute damage last time, so she can start doing damage here. So yep, yeah, there's that Zeodyne. And yeah, if you ruin if you ruin its press turns, you probably won't see Eternal Zero. But Eternal Zero fully debuffs you all the way to minus three, uh, as well as can like canceling any buffs that you have. Um, it also fully buffs Brahmin. It's essentially one of the attacks that uh, YHVH can do in SMT4 Apocalypse. So that game came out way later than this one. Honestly, I find it really cool when a god final boss in an SMT game can do this, because they should be able to fully buff themselves and fully debuff you. You know, especially something like Brahman, which represents the infinite reality of the universe itself. While some religions are classified as monotheism, one god, or polytheism, many gods, Hinduism is sometimes described as pantheism, meaning everything is God. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. actually, I kind of don't want to attack here. I, I, I know I'll be able to push the phase next turn, so I'm going to wait here. Oh no! Oh, I should have I should have tried to push the phase. Uh, at least we saw that. Yeah, all stats weakened, enemy stats improved. At least you ruined the rest of your press turns, but okay. Now I absolutely need to, uh, okay, here, yeah, this is where things get a little problematic because, uh, kind of relying on me being fully buffed. Okay, so, uh, do I have a, oh, I don't even have a Dekunda. Uh, you can't use, like, Dekunda as an item, can you? Okay, this is actually interesting. However, Cielo can use the charge combo for two press turns. See, I'm just wondering, do I even want to actually go to the next phase yet? I'm not even sure I do. Ah, uh, Angelic Grace. Ah, uh, Charge. There's always a possibility that they could use Eternal Zero again. And the final phase is definitely a bit of a race in terms of damage. Did not set up the Electrain that time, which could be unfortunate. Also, yeah, uh, Seraph's MP's running a little low. So much for ailments not being an issue in this fight. Thank you, Cielo's uh, immunity there. And yeah, there's, yes, yes, the ultimate electric skill is indeed called Narukami, but it's, uh, named after a Japanese god, not after the protagonist of Persona 4, who wouldn't actually be a thing until way later. Okay, let's charge up again. Just gonna have to kind of use the rest of this phase as a kind of a stat reset point. Do I heal, or do I do another? And another charge is just gonna get me to, um... It's just going to get me to flat out neutral, I think. Yeah, did I have Dick Quinder on anybody? Oh, Power Charge, that's interesting. And Mind Charge, okay then. Please use an Electric Attack. Nope, just Light. That is still physical though, so... Ah, uh, wow, okay, that crit was not good. Thank you for the Narukami though. Ah, uh, okay then. I kinda wanna actually keep charging. Uh, part of me wants to Electrain again, even though it's gonna be my turn. My plan here is to deploy in heat, actually. Okay, good, Narukami. Yeah, that Eternal Zero kinda ruined things there. I was on a roll before that happens. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna deploy heat in over Argilla. And now Cielo will set up Electrain again. I want heat for the final phase. Thank you for ruining your turns. And I also probably want a Soma at some point. But I'm gonna just keep charging. Maybe heat can use the Soma. Electrain again and then heat uses the Soma. Like, no reason not to pop my Somas at this point. <laughs> it's the final boss, what else am I going to use them for? Neural Shock. Well, that's okay, because Cielo shields that. Thank you for the Zeodyne. Yeah, this is why you want the Drain skills, by the way. It, preve it, it prevents you from seeing the really scary attacks. Occasionally. Okay, that should be like plus two and everything. In that case, I'm still going to Electrain. 
but I believe if I pass with you and then Archidine, are we in the last phase now? We are in the last phase now, okay. So the final phase has like 6,000 HP, uh, and it also has its ultimate attack, Brahma Sutra, which is actually a mistranslation, though I don't really blame them, because the Katakana just look like they're saying, uh, Bra uh, Burama Sutra, but it's actually Brahmastra. It's named after Brahma, um, not, you know, Brahman, Brahma the creator's ultimate godly weapon in Hinduism. Uh, it's essentially a nuclear bomb. Uh, yeah, it's a massive destructive explosion, and uh, every time Brahman uses it in this phase, it gets stronger. So, you're basically on a soft timer for it. But, okay then, yeah, this is the point where you want to start using the Ice Drain. And, okay, Zeodyne is definitely fair game at this point. But actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pass... Power charge, because physical attacks are totally fine for this phase. Oh yeah, Heat also has Ice Drain, so I could go for that. And, uh... You're gonna do- yeah, Brahman Final. You're gonna debilitate. Okay, good. The more you do that, the less chance you have of using your ultimate attack. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, debilitate you again for the cost of only one press turn. Just really don't want you using Eternal Zero. I suppose he can go for a power charge skull cleave now. It's a pretty big skull to be cleaving. That didn't do a whole lot of damage though. So yeah, again, just gotta get that ice drain set up, otherwise Brahman might do something really, really scary. Thank you for the ailment nullification. Oh, no thank you for getting the the silence on Seraph. Oh, well, at least there's Niflheim finishing up the turn. Uh, silenced on you is not the best. I'm gonna have to cure that. Dismute you. Uh, he will set up the ice drain because his actual attack did not look that impressive. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna mind charge Seraph. Well, okay, you're going for the mind charge yourself. Let's hope that's going towards Niflheim. Nope, this is going for a regular Bufudine, that's good. Let's going to expend the Mind Charge too, so let's counter your Bufudine with an Argydine. And let's see... Uh, I suppose CLO can pile on some damage now. We aren't like fully uh, buffed or debuffed at this point, but I'm kind of worried that that's going to tr potentially trip Eternal Zero. I'm not sure exactly how Brahman's AI with that works, but I don't want to tempt fate. Let's go for another Mind Charge. Pass, Ice Drain, and then... Uh, I guess I'll just go for... I, 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 let's, let's, let's see how much damage Reincarnate does. Just want to reiterate, this song is amazing. Oh, oh no! Okay, you did go for Eternal Zero. That is... Oh, Marav... Okay, so Maravert actually does uh, script something. Uh, I believe that once Brahma starts using Maravert, it will keep using Revert until everybody is in human form. And if it fails, it will just continue to spam that. Thankfully, I had the Ice Drain up. Okay, uh, I believe he did have the Change Ring, though. So Heat's able to transform without spending any press turns. But we are Eternal Zeroed. No thank you, I do not need that right now. Uh, yes, I know, but we are Eternal Zeroed right now. Yes, that's, uh... I thought you had the... Did you, didn't you have the change ring? Uh, anyway, okay. I think I do need to Ice Drain. I really want to, like, Dekaja stone you, but I had a feeling you'd do that and give me a ch uh, chance for, like, more turns and stuff. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh... I need to use... the Dekaja rock. No more full buffs on you, please. 
And Ice Drain. Thank you for that. The question is, do I set my buffs back up again, or do I just go for, like, some Mind Charge? I'm already Mind Charged, okay. Okay, well, yeah, let's... Uh, I should probably set my buffs back up again. <laughs> Yeah, having Dekunda would have been useful. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, that's Brahma, uh, Brahma Sutra. Which didn't look like it did a, did a lot that time, but after three uses of that, it's basically an auto-wipe. In fact, I'm pretty sure that it is an auto-wipe. In fact, there's even, like, an error message associated with it for some reason. Uh, I can't actually use the charge combo yet because, uh, CLO's in human form. Okay. Change you up, and then again, let's Ice Drain. Okay, don't silence Seraph, please. Of course you did. Well, at least you got rid of the rest of your press turns. Okay, then I... Well, I mean, if I dismute you... Just have to keep up the Ice Drain just to get rid of his turn just to get rid of its turns, and let's start getting rid of those debuffs. Thank you for that. Okay, so I'm, I'm just a couple more to go. Can't charge with CLO though, because I do need to keep Ice Drain up, so this is going to be a string of passing with you. Heat Ice Drains while Seraph charges again. Getting back up there. I don't think I'll actually bother fully buffing. Uh, did you see? Uh, okay. In that case, I am gonna have to start my charges again and then Dekaja Rock your buffs away immediately. Thankfully, nobody's in human form right now, although I don't want to speak too soon. Okay, thankfully no mute happened that time. For some reason, Seraph just really likes getting muted in this, in this uh, fight for me. Okay, that's now we're up to minus one everything. I, I want to at least go for full neutrality. Please don't eternal zero again. Thank you. Okay, at least I'm at full neutrality right now. So at this point, I should not be holding back anything. Let's just go for massive mind charge attacks from Seraph. Okay, Brahman is down to red. Okay, there's the second Brahma Sutra. Which was quite a bit stronger than the first one. So yeah, we pretty much have to finish, finish it off very soon, or we are basically done. Still red. I don't know if I should heal. I think I should keep piling on the offense. No, it's not over yet. Oh boy, this could be bad. Please use an ice attack. Please use an ice attack. Thank you. Depending on how close it is, I might have this. There we go. It's over.
exists. I see you found the answer. Then we have served our purpose here. Join us soon. One simple word can bind us together. journey is just beginning. I pray that these children who share their names with you can find happiness. Don't worry, Fred.
and that was Digital Devil Saga 2. It's an oddly uplifting ending for a game with such harrowing scenes. And yeah, I appreciate those who wrote the original plot. Yeah, we're seeing stuff straight from the beginning. From devouring demons in the junkyard to... Surf and Sarah as Seraph achieving enlightenment and becoming a transcendent being that uh, exists across reality and timelines. That's who Schrodinger was the whole time. Some people complained that uh, Seraph did not speak with the voices of both of them, of Wendy Lee and Yuri Lowenthal. Actually, they did the whole time. The Yuri Lowenthal voice was just uh, on the cat, and they combined at the end. It might seem like a mind screw, but mythologically it does make a lot of sense. Seraph achieved true enlightenment and escaped the cycle of reincarnation.
And that is Digital Devil Saga 2, a truly amazing game. It and the first are some of my favorite stories and gameplay in any JRPG, and they are quite short too. I highly recommend them to any Atlas fan, and like I said at the very start of the first game, they're a perfect starting point for any Persona fan looking to get into the mainline Shin Megami Tensei games with press turn systems. We end on Seraph having achieved enlightenment, the promise that uh, the rest of the Embryon will one day too, though they were reincarnated this time, that perhaps they'll join Seraph at the end of this life. We're not quite done yet though, because, uh, well, firstly there's Jack Frost, because he didn't cooperate in the main one, I'll be showing that first, and then there'll be Vishnu and Shiva, along with Seth, and then the final super boss. There is a new cycle as well, but it's a little bit less relevant than Digital Devil Saga 1, because there's no New Game Plus exclusive super boss. Though if you did not do a transfer file, you need to beat the game at least once to unlock hard mode and have access to the super boss in the first place. You'll have access to it from the bat if you do a transfer file. Just like the first game though, learn skills uh, and mastered mantra will be retained, your levels will not be though, uh, and the other thing that comes from a new cycle is you'll get access to one additional karma ring, uh, which allows you to start battles in berserk mode. This ring is not taken into account for the 100% karma ring reward in a non-new cycle, so don't worry about not having access to it there. And so... Thank you all for watching, and until the post-game fights, I will see you all next time. This is Big Clingy signing out.